All right, Shalom. This is GMS New Orleans coming at you with another quick lesson. As we always want to do, we give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. The honor to the elders, apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings and salutations always to the hopeful elect and those that follow after the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. Right? And I'm uh, probably going to name this one, uh, it's not looking good for the two thirds. Right? Because two thirds of the nation of Israel right, is slated to be destroyed over here because you have pretty much. Uh, disregarded all, all commandments, all laws, and commandments of the Most High, man. And all warnings of the Most High, right? The Most High been sending uh, the men of the Lord on these highways and byways to warn you of the coming destruction, right? The com the coming of uh, our great King Yahweh Shai, and all and also all the other uh, events that's going to happen in this world, man. And all you did is, is shun them. Right, you you're so business in this in this life trying to chase chase the dollar, all right, chase different accolades and be all that all that you can be in wickedness here, man. So the Lord, the Lord what the Lord's gonna do in these coming days, and what He's already started to do, is destroy you in mass numbers, man. Right until that great day, the Lord actually comes where He's gonna get rid of get rid of two thirds, right? I want to back you up. This is 2 Chronicles 36 and 15. And Yahweh, the power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up the times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. All right, so when you see the men of the Lord on these highways and byways, that's a form of compassion and love and mercy that the Lord is sending out to his people in hopes, in hopes that they get right. But we know through the... Through the, the uh, the reading of these scriptures, man, that two thirds is not gonna get right. They're not gonna listen. They're not gonna. They're not gonna hearken to the voice of the Lord, man, or those messengers, man. Right? Go ahead. It says the very next verse, verse sixteen. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High. Chronicles 36 verse 16 but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy and how they misused the prophets by scoffing by coming up against the prophets calling the cops on them fighting them and many other things that they, they choose to do all right because they they are they are hard-hearted man they hard-headed right Ultimately, they're wicked, man. Okay, so that's what the Lord is, is, is doing what he's doing, man. Go ahead, huh? That was it on that. All right? What you have? I got, I got, I got the Daniel for you, and I got two others. Hey, give me that Daniel. Yeah, because we're coming in a time where the Lord is going to get so bad out here so the Lord going to have to send the Archangel Michael, man. And that's not to, that's not to deliver the two-thirds. That's... Just, just for the protection of the uh, the one third and the elect, man. Okay. But this is how bad it's gonna get. And a lot of you two thirds gonna get caught up in this coming destruction, the coming uh, times of martial law. All right. FEMA camps, famine, and all manners of great, all manners of death. Go ahead. Huh? This uh, Daniel twelve, verse one. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. And that's what we're doing now. We're warning you of that, that, that time of trouble like no other, man. All right? We just we was in the, in the midst of camp going into it. Uh, the markets of the economy are, are, are very fragile, man time of being uh, collapsed, global collapse. Not just here, but global collapse. And you Jake's gonna get caught up in that, man. Two thirds are gonna get rolled over. Cause you don't know what the hell going on. You don't know, uh, this, the, the, the basically how, how weak this economy is, man. All right? And it's all summoned by the Lord to happen that way too. 
quick. Yes, sir. Uh, prudent man foreseeing the evil and hiding himself. Right. But the foolish, what, uh, looking on or something yeah, like that? Yeah, looking on. And we're yeah. hiding ourselves. We're running, like the scripture said, we're running into that tower, man. The tower of Yahweh Bashan was shot for protection. All right. We're not gearing up, all right, with ourselves and trying to get all prepared to, to you know, go to war like a Rambo and shit. We don't, hey, it's, you know, we don't get down like that, you know? No, but we know we know the Lord is gonna protect his men. Go ahead. Yeah, say the fool uh pass by and is punished. Yeah. And he get punished for not looking well till it's gone or being proven. That's right. His eyes are in the earth. He's, earth. he's looking at air. His eyes in the ends of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> occupied and evil. My bad. So oh, no. Just hey, his eyes are occupied with the glitz and glamour, everything, the fluff and the bullshit, and not seeing how how bad of a times we truly are in. Like you just said, the 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 uh, the the wise man hideth himself when he foreseeth the evil. We're, we're taking ourselves out of this society as much as we can, leaning on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, knowing that that's going to be our protection and nothing else. They said the wise man's eyes is in his head, man. Huh. Right. Which is our spirit. Yeah. Right. Right. We 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 are we are in, in tune yes. with, with Yahweh by Hashem, Shai, and the things that's going on, right? And the things that he asks us to do, man. All right. Keep going up. It says. Even such as never was there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, the people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Right. And off the, off the top, two thirds are not written in the book, man. Two thirds are slated to be destroyed. Just like in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, thought of the fourth verse, man. The Lord's going to send the deaf angel around again to handle business. Right? To slay two thirds. Cause you nigga like so you you all you about getting drugged up, all right, fitting in with the with the different different institutions and universities here. You're not you're not uh uh wanting to come and serve the Lord with all your heart, man, to be delivered from this this coming day of World War Three, all hell breaking loose, man. All right. Yeah, they, they uh like you said, our people is occupied and evil, man. So once you're distracted with something. There's no way to actually look at the thing which or uh, get from around that which is distracting you. Because our people love entertainment and wrong or evil has become entertainment to our people, man. Right. Okay, they make mockery of right now. Right? If you write or you serve the Lord or you're talking about God, you look that as a fool out here, man. Oh, that Bible ain't real or this ain't that, man. Because the people here in America look look at look at the Satan. Look down. Yeah, they, they look, look down look, after the Lord. Yeah, they look they look down at the Lord and look up to Satan. Look up to Satan, that's as, right. As a as a as a uh, a true God here. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. It's this Jeremiah 17 and 1. It says the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. Right, so your your shit is really engraved it's, it's in there. Etched. Man. etched in there, man. <laughs> yes. In the most high season, man. All right. That's why we. That's why we. We've been. We you know. We Lord. We, we've been called back to this word for our sins to be forgiven, man. That's right. All right. Why do you niggas? You do. You do sin unto death. Okay. It is. Get, it, get a little more. It is graven upon the table of their hearts and upon the horns of your altars. Come. So it's written in Jake mind, man. And our people are destroyed. For, the, for, 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 for going off for the commandments, man, and not keeping the commandments. Our people love, uh, woe to them that say evil is good and good is evil, man. Right? right? I'm going to keep that as a blast. I got just to back up everything your brothers were saying. Now I'm going to get a word, a word in the Strongs. This is Proverbs chapter 14. I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil. But that's, what we, that's what we've done. We, we, we feared after we found out, all right, what the Most High plans on doing to, the, to, the, to America, to the so-called white man, and to two-thirds, we feared, man. Yes. All right, and look forward to our goings and, and serving him. And hope and hope that we are not slated to, to be put to death, man. We heard of the Lord's judgment that got out with my right yada, huh? Right. We have to see it. We heard of it. Keep going. And if I could just say, it says a prudent man. And when you're prudent, what does it mean? You're observant. You're taking heed of everything. This prudent man looking well to his going. They see it, the signs of the times. 
hearing what what's coming through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So ordering their way accordingly to try to escape that judgment. But verse 16, a wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. And I wanted to get that word rageth in the Strong's, which is H5674, and it reads, to pass over, or by, or through, alienate, bring, carry, do away, take, take away, transgress. The point being, as it said, a wise man feareth and departeth from evil, and we see this is not the way to be doing things and see situations come our way that would transgress the ways of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So we go in the opposite direction. But a fool, what? Rageth and is confident. He, he just passes over those things, those warning signs, and just keeps going on and continues in his folly, which is ultimately going to lead to his destruction. That's right. And that's, and that's, and that's just for the bulk of you two-thirds, man. You're not going to get right. No, that's why I said we, we, we're, we're tired of sitting out here through the, through the four seasons, man. Preaching under you, screaming, hooping and hollering, debating with you niggas, man. All right, we're just really, we're tired. We're ready, ready for the Lord to get rid of you now, man. Okay? Go ahead. This is Hosea 4 and 6. It says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. See, and that's, that's how my, in, the, in them times of, uh, of uh, Jacob's trouble, man. In them times of the beginning of the sorrow, the Lord is going to reject you. All right, it's not going to—he's not going to save two thirds. He's going to punish you. All right. Keep going. It says that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law. Keep going. It says, seeing thou hast forgotten the law, thy God. I will also forget thy children. Well, and guess what? A lot of your children are going to be forgotten that day, man. The Lord's not going to deliver. The Lord's going to let the whole house, the whole house of you, you Israelites, all right, get put down, man. Especially you men. Because really, the, really the, the house and the family starts with you men. You men don't want to get right, so the Lord's going to do away with your whole house, man. All right? Because that's who he's calling on to. He's calling on to you men. Oh, you mean that I call, man? When you go into that word reject, it means it means to make disappear. Yeah, <laughs> it's going, and that's going to happen. A lot of you going to give up the ghost in that day, man. To disappear, damn. Yeah. It's just, this is this is this is an easy thing, man. That know the way. All right, this is the easy thing, man. It's, this ain't hard, All right? Where, where we at? As far as the ones we're supposed to get. We got them. Well, you got the last and the heaviest. And that Jeremiah 30 and 7. Get the Jeremiah 30 first, and then we're going to end it on the other one. This is Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right. One more time. Okay. 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 This is Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great. It's a great day that's coming, man. And we in the, we in the we in the stages of right now, it's finna overflow and, and come over the pot, man. The day is building up, race racial tension, right? All hell breaking loose, famines. famines. These are the things that we we we've been talking about for years, and we at the at the door of it. We're no more uh, far off talking about it. They are here, right? Keep on. And if I could say with that Daniel's we opened up with. It's a day like no other where even the Archangel Michael is going to have to stand up to defend the elect. That's how terrible these times are going to be. And you and you two-thirds are not going to be spared, man. He's not going to... Daniel is not going to stand up for two-thirds, man. Well, not Daniel. Uh, Michael. Michael. Michael is not going to stand up for two-thirds of you, man. You're going to be left here to burn, to wither away, man. To be put to death. Okay? So, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it. And that he, going into the, really the elect, the elect is going to be saved out of it, man. All right? Which the whole house of Israel is going to be saved eventually and be brought back into the kingdom. But on this run here, only the one third and the elect is going to make it out, out of this place called Babylon the Great, man. All right? Millions on top of millions of Israelites, you're just going to die in your ignorance, man. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to die in your coonery. All right, which is a lot of you. You just it's just it's just slated that way, man. All right, you are the you are the children 
of old that said, uh, let his blood be on him and our children. Let his blood be on us and our, and his, and our children. You're those children coming back today, man. Okay? And second Ezra said also said, what? Well, that the multitude perished then that was born in vain. That's like right. Some forget they children. That's right. They reject it now. Yeah. yeah. Them, we told them. Yeah, we're talking that's, about. That's right. Them, yeah. They are their children. Coming back to reincarnation. That's right. So let's end it on this. Okay. This is second entrance chapter nine, verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. And what where are the works? Getting out here on the highways and byways, preaching of the Yahweh Shai. Preaching of the of the coming destruction, the, the microchip, and many other things, man. Making your body as a living sacrifice. Coming out here consistently, rain, sleep, or snow. Alright? Not being a part-time Israelite. You you out here, we out here one month, and then for the next seven months, nobody sees you. Nobody hears from you. Alright? You're following the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Right. You're not being like these false Christians out here. They're like, oh, I'm just saved because I believe in the name of sweet Jesus so I can do whatever the hell I want out here. Yeah, that's all. Go ahead. Shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. And by faith. All right? Because we show that we got faith by doing this, man. Consistently coming out here. Go ahead. Whereby we have believed. Shall Keep going. Verse 8 Shall be preserved from the said perils And shall see my salvation in my land And within my borders For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning Yeah, the Lord has, has sanctified the what? The elect from the beginning Right? To see those things that I was written about, man Right? The kingdom of heaven The, the, whole, the whole ceremony of getting those crowns those things were written for the elect sake, that they, they, that they may see it. Not that we be destroyed with the two thirds, but that we may see it, man. That's the important, important part, keep going. Verse nine, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. The two thirds, all right? That's what we're getting on. The two thirds is gonna be, you know what that is, huh? <laughs> the two thirds gonna be in a pitiful case, man. Go ahead. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits. Yeah, received benefits, man. All right? And those benefits, those gifts have 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 uh blinded the eyes and softened the hearts of you, man. Alright, to not want to come. You a lot of you doing so 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 called good here in America in your own eyes and where you you don't want to turn to the Lord. Who is that? Wear a garment? What? You're not gonna do that. So that's what the Lord. That's what the Lord gotta destroy you. Go ahead. God. And have not known me. See. Go ahead. Verse eleven. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. In which we're in the times. We're in the, we're in the last stages of those those times of repentance is closing. It went, it once was open. We're in the times of it closing, man. All right. Read that part again. Uh, second Ezra 9 and 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it. Despised the word and despised everything that had to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, coming under correction and submitting unto the, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You, 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 you hated it, man. Right, so that's why the Lord has to do something about it. Go ahead. The same must know it after death by pain. The same two thirds, the same one one of you, the, you people out here, man. You jakes that know or don't know, especially the ones you know, you the ones that know of this, you're gonna get it the worst though, man. According to the book of Luke, uh, Luke 21 or yeah, so. Nine. Yeah, you're gonna get it the worst, man. Especially put your hand at the plow and then took the hand off. That's right. Right, so. We do have a, a, a moment of grace. You know, you best to fall up under it, man. All right. So with that, man, we hope that that was edifying. All right. To the to the to the elect, to the to the elect, man. You know, Lord, will you you, you come under? You, you still wake up and come under come under the, under the, the banner of your Habash Yom Shai, man. Uh, we're going to give all praise, glory, and finalness. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakagwadash. Honor to the elder apostles of GMS.
Peace and blessings and salutations. Once again to the hopeful elect. Until next time. Shalom. Shalom.